Hi guys, this is Sadiq from Dwadwin.com and in this video, we'll show you how to enable voice over LTE on the Pixel 7 series phone. Apart from that, that workaround will also work on the Pixel 6 series. In other words, it will work across all those Pixel phone which comes with a Tensor chipset. So the Pixel 6a, 6, 6 Pro, 7 and 7 Pro, this workaround will work on all these phones and you will easily be able to enable voice over LTE without the need for root. So with that in mind, let's get started. There exist two methods of, of carrying this task. The first one is using the PC and the second one is simply on your phone. So I'll first show you how to carry out this task using the PC because it's the most fail-safe approach. So let's get started. And first and foremost, you have to download the Android SDK platform tools. This is the official ADB binary given by Google and it's required to execute ADB command. So download it from the link given in my guide and then extract it onto your PC. In my case, I've done the extraction in eDrive. You could extract it anywhere you want. Once that is done, you now have to install the Shizuku app from Play Store. So this is the Shizuku app. As you could see, simply install it from Play Store. After that, you have to enable USB debugging. This is required to execute ADB command. So go to the settings menu on your phone. From there, go to about phone and tap on build number seven times. Now go to system and you should now see developer option. Go there and enable the toggle next to USB debugging. You will get a prompt on your phone. Tap on OK. You might get one more prompt regarding RSA key fingerprint. So tap on allow. Once that is done, let's now verify the debugging connection. So go to the platform folder address bar, type in CMD and hit enter. This will launch the command prompt window. Now type in ADB devices and hit enter. Make sure you're getting a serial ID. If you're not getting any ID, then unplug and replug your phone from the PC. Disable and re-enable USB debugging. Tap on revoke USB debugging. Use the official USB cable that came with your phone and use the USB 2.0 port on your PC. So carry out these USB tweaks and make sure you're getting this ID. Once you're getting this ID, let's now move on to the next step. So now you have to launch the Shizuku app. So simply open it. And as you could see, we are getting Shizuku is not running. So we'll just have to type in this single line of command and then the app will start running. So copy this entire command from my guide. I have given the link to this guide in the description. So just go to my guide and copy this command and simply paste it inside the CMD window, which is open in the platform folder. So just paste the command here and hit enter. And with this, as you could see, the Shizuku is now running onto our phone. Once that is done, your next course of action is to install the Pixel IMS app. The link is given on my guide to so simply install this app. I already installed the app over as you could see. So simply launch the app and once you open the app, you will get a Shizuku prompt. So tap on allow all the time. And you might have to re relaunch the app and as you could see, Shizuku service is running and permission has been granted and uh, the app is now running. So now you have to simply go to the settings menu and just enable the toggle next to enable voice over LTE. Once that is done, you might need to restart your phone. But before that, go to the home tab and check out the status next to IMS status. If it's showing as registered, then this means the voice over LTE has been enabled on your phone. However, if it's showing as not registered, then you have to restart your phone. So do a restart and then once again, relaunch the app, relaunch the Shizuku, make it running via the CMD command. And then you have to relaunch the Pixel IMS app and this time it should show as registered. So this signifies that the voice over LTE is enabled on your phone. You could also verify the same using a dialer code. So just open the phone dialer on your phone and then type in the code star hash star hash info hash star hash star. So info correspond to 4636. So type in this command and then go to the overflow icon at the top right and check mark IMS service status. After that, Check out the status next to voice over LTE and if it's showing as available, this signifies that the voice over LTE is enabled onto your phone. If it's showing as unavailable, then you will have to restart your phone once again. Upon restart, make sure to restart the Shizuku app as well and then relaunch the Pixel I IMS app and again enable the toggle as to voice over LTE. And after that, retype in this code and this time around you should get the available code under voice over LTE. So this was the first method on which you could enable voice over LTE on your phone with the help of a PC. Let me now show you how this could be done without using your PC. As before, this process will not require a rooted device. It works well and good on non-rooted on every Pixel 6a, 6, 6 Pro, 7 and 7 Pro phone. So let me start the process from scratch. Let me first remove the Shizuku app. So in this task, we will not be using the Android SDK platform tools. So in this step of enabling voice over LTE, only on your phone without the use of PC. Your first step should be to install the Shizuku app. Once you have installed the app, we will now make it 
up and running without executing any ADB command. So simply launch the Shizuku app and then you have to go to start via, via wireless debugging and tap on pairing. Then go to notification option and enable the toggle next to allow Shizuku notification. Then go back and not tap on developer option. Make sure you have enable developer option if you have not done so then go to setting system about phone and tap on build number seven times then go back and now again tap on developer option and you will now be taken to the developer option now enable the toggle next to wireless usb debugging once that is done you will get a prompt tap on allow then tap on wireless debugging and here tap on pair device with pairing code you will now get a prompt and shizuku will also bring the service found so make sure to Copy the code in our case it's 363465. Then you just have to tap on the Shizuku prompt and enter the pairing code. So let me verify it once, just a minute. So it's 363465. 363465 and hit enter. The code will be different in your case. So as you could see, we have now got the pairing successful. And with this, you now have to go back to the Shizuku app. Again, go back. Now try and tap on start and the wireless debugging so you might get one more prompt so again go to developer option and disable the toggle next to wireless debugging and then re-enable it again tap on allow and this time again go back to the shizuku app and with this as you could see the app is now up and running and we haven't used any adb command just to verify you could see shizuku is now running and we haven't used any adb command we have just done so via the wireless debugging feature so once you the app is up and running you could now Execute the steps similar to the below step. Just to repeat, you have to install the Pixel IMS app from your phone. So install the Pixel IMS app and then launch the IMS app. Let me launch it once again. So simply launch the IMS app and you will get a Shizuku prompt. Tap on allow all the time. With this, you could see Shizuku is now running inside the Pixel IMS app and it has got the permission. Now go to the settings menu as before and enable the toggle next to enable voice over LTE. Now go back to the home page. And make sure you're getting the IMS status as registered. If it's showing that not registered, then you will have to restart your phone, then restart Shizuku app as well. You could do so via the wireless debugging feature as I've shown you before. And again, go to the IMS app and make sure it's now showing as registered. So, guys, these were the two different methods by which you could enable voice over LTE on your Pixel phone without the need for root. If you have any queries, do let me know in the comment section. And guys, please like this video and subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks. Thanks a lot for watching.